Recently, a new quest was released in Old School RuneScape, The Path of Glofrey. With this quest came two new monsters that both drop a new weapon, the Warped Scepter, a tier 62 magic weapon. This is a charged weapon, meaning it works just like the Trident of the Seas, but this one requires 2 Chaos Runes and 5 Earth Runes per attack. So in this video, we will start from scratch with nothing but the Scepter, charged with a thousand attacks, so, you know, I can actually use it. With the goal of upgrading my setup as we go and hopefully make a lot of money. And so here we are with a weapon and a thousand charges. It looks so cool, but uh, we have no gear, no food, no potions, no nothing. So I can't really start off doing something complex. So we have to do something simple and just stack up to buy some gear and maybe more charges for the weapon as well. I've decided to start off with the crazy archaeologist. There actually aren't that many good monsters to kill with magic, especially this early on. And we get some food to resupply with for the first one. But uh, ideally, I there are some drops that are worth like 100k plus. So hopefully we can get those. It seems like I need around 20 to 25 attacks per kill, and each time I attack, it costs 100 GP in charges. So let's see what we get. 2.6k, okay, I guess we made 100 GP on that kill, nice. I'm not great at prey flicking, but I'm trying to at least flick Augury just for serving as many charges as possible. And we have another kill coming in here, if we can get one more hit in. There we go, what are we going to get for this one? Oh, that's a good one, 24k, I'll definitely take that. Oh, we got a muddy key. It's 18k. Why is this worth so much? I thought they were absolutely useless. Yes, I was right. I remember these being like 2000 GP each. They have gone up so much in price just the past few weeks, I guess, from like 2700 to 22k. <gasps> oh, I got so baited. Longbone. It's worth nothing. It says 1000 GP, but I don't think I can actually... It's not sellable. Because most money-making methods that are really great require you to use more than just magic, for example the Phantom Muspa and Solra and all that requires both magic and ranged, I'm just going to use all my 1000 charges on the Crazy Archaeologist, try to get as much money as I can and then restock with the gear upgrades and new charges to do higher level methods. Oh, that's actually a pretty good drop, a Prey Potions. I will probably not sell that, I'll just use it to have a longer trip. I've been running back and forth from the Ferox Enclave, which is pretty far, I have to run all the way from up here, down here, to restock my prayer. So yeah, I can stay a bit longer this trip. Yo, we have some fashion scape, let's look at this. Absolutely no stats, but it is worth 16k, so I actually have very good drop as well. Oh my god, we got an amulet of power, that's actually a gear upgrade. 1 plus prayer and 6 magic, that's not that bad. What a great trip that was, let's have a look at how much we actually made. 65.8k in just one trip. Definitely should have done this earlier, but I'm picking up the monk robes from the Edgeville Monastery just to get a nice prayer bonus, 6 plus on the chest and 5 on the bottom, so that is a massive upgrade. Without the robes, my prayer lasted for 4 minutes and 20 seconds, and with them it lasts for 6 minutes and 17, so quite a difference. Yes, there we go, that is the 100k drops I was waiting for, the onyx ball tip drop that pretty much doubled all my money I've got so far. And after this one, we have now been here for nearly a thousand charges on the weapon. For some coins, we have 27 charges left. So I guess it is time to sell everything and see what we can get. All right, so everything is sold and we made 269.9k, so 270k pretty much. And I think we're going to begin with recharging the weapon to a thousand charges. And then I'm going to try to get a setup that I can do barrows with. Alright, so we're going to add the 1000 charges I just bought, we have 6000 GP left, so not too much, but I think we have a pretty decent setup here, we also bought a Glory, and for Arams, as I can't really kill it with magic too efficiently, we have a Dragon Scimitar, and before then I am actually going to the Warrior's Guild to get a Gomal's Hilt, and I'll explain why. As long as you have the medium combat diary completed for the Gomal's Hill 2, but I have the hard one so I'll take number 3, it looks a bit fancier, you actually don't experience the prayer drain at all at Barrow, so I can pretty much just go with the prayer points that I have. I will not probably need this prayer potion, but I guess we'll see. Before we get into Barrows, I'm happy to announce that this video is sponsored by the Golden Gnome winner Crumb's Resin Cast Figurines. My favorite one is the Chinchompa one as I'm a sucker for cute things, but all the products are super high quality and look amazing. The figurines are painted using a combination of airbrushing and hand brushing giving each one a glass or ceramic feel to them. Their newest release is Ciliana and with this release they also restocked the entire collection for the first time since last Christmas. So this is actually the perfect time to get yourself the one you've been looking a little extra at. Right now Crumb is running an amazing promotion of 20% of all figurines this week, but only 
only by using the coupon code ALONE20 at checkout. So if you want to support the channel and get a great deal on these RuneScape resin figurines before they sell out, make sure you click the link below and use code ALONE20 for 20% off. Thank you to Chrome for sponsoring this video. And of course we need the spade as well, but that is free luckily. So I can essentially stay here forever without losing any prey points and that is going to save me a lot of money on prey potions. I do have the Mauritania Diary for 50% more runes from Barrow, so even if we get no uniques should be pretty good money. And we used 45 charges in the staff for the entire run. That is really good, but let's see what the first chest is going to be. Oh, that's a lot of items. 35k, not bad. When it comes to upgrades, the two next ones I would love to get is the Imbued Samurai Cape, which I have to repair for around 100,000 GP. And the second item would be the Occult Necklace, which is like 500k, so if we can get just one big unique, we could have both. Second chest actually maxed our loot potential for 35k again. No way! What?! 900,000 GP! We got a Darok's Plate Body this early, like 5 chests in. That is going to be so many upgrades that we can get the Occult Necklace. Alright, we sold everything. Let's collect. We have a 9, almost 1 million GP. So let's go ahead and buy the Occult Necklace if we can find that. There it is. It is 500k almost exactly. And this one is such a strong magic upgrade. Let's have a look. 10% more magic damage. Let's now spend the 96k to repair the Samurai Imbued Cape, which is also a super good magic upgrade. 2% more magic, 15 accuracy as well. And of course, you cannot forget for the glove slot, the Barrow's Gloves for 130,000 coins. As we do have a lot of money, I might as well get them. I also went ahead and bought Mystic Boots and Mystic Hat. I didn't really have anything for those slots and 20 more teleports and a thousand more charges for my scepter. I did forget about the ammo slot, but we bought for only 3,000 GP a peaceful blessing for one prayer bonus as well. But our gear is starting to look pretty good now. I mean, just look how good this scepter is doing. Before I was doing 24 max hits, and I think now I should be able to do 26. Oh, there we go. I already hit the max hit. 26. So two more max hits. We are back. Are we going to get a back to back? Just anything would be great. One in 16 or something. Oh, we actually do. Guthans Play Body. 250k. I don't really know anything I want to buy right away, so I'm just going to keep it in my inventory for now. Can we get a back three back though? Ah, uh, no. 36k though. What are we going to get for chest number 10? We get a lot of stuff, but not worth a lot. But I actually just figured out a good ring we can get for only 75k, which is going to help us a lot and finalize our setup for now. It is actually a very new ring, the Ring of Shadows, and you can buy it after completing Desert Treasure 2 for 75k. So I had to sell all the things from Barrows to buy one of these rings. And look at these stats. Two prayer bonus, two melee strength, four in every single attack bonus, and five magic defense. And we will actually need this for another thing I want to do later on in this video. Regardless of what next Barrow's item I get is, it's going to be the last one. And this is not a Barrow's item chest, but we will keep going until I get one more item. And then I have something really profitable in mind. There it is, the item we were waiting for, a Varrox Flail 100k. Not the best one, but yeah, that ends the Barrow's grind. The last batch of items sold and the flail sold for 95k. We also bought a Book of Darkness page set and we're going to be getting that as well for the offhand instead of the Gomal's Hill so we have a full mage setup. Now for the remaining money I'm going to be buying Blighted Restores and the Blighted Ancient Isaacs because we're going to be doing some RTO. I think 300 is going to be a good starting point as these are pretty expensive. We also swapped over to the Ancient Spellbook so we can use this and Blighted Restores right now are actually very cheap. The full restores are like 11k, these are only 6k. I also bought some small stuff like the Royal Seed Pod, Looting Bag, and a Forgotten Brew, which is actually a plus 10 magic boost for me, and a very cheap item. They're only like 2000 GP for 4 doses, 2.6k. Also, there's a 50k tax, so just enter the cave in the beginning, so we are pretty much at 0 GP right now, so we need to make some good money from this. That was actually not that bad. The first KC coming in, I don't think I barely used anything for that, and the first drop is 40k, that's pretty good. The weapon is definitely not great here, but it is enough to get the kills consistently. Second drop, 24k. Oh yeah, this is why I said this was profitable. 200 mahogany logs, actually not that rare of a drop. 100,000 GP, just like that. No way. No way we actually get the hilt in this video. This is the best time to get this item. It is so rare. It's one in 912. 
Okay, I guess we can make some upgrades. Let's see if we can sell this for 61 million GP. It says 62 million, so definitely should be insta-selling this one. Yes, we did. 61.7 million GP. And let's collect the loot from the other things. Didn't really sell all the super compost, but I guess it's time to make some gear upgrades. We went on a massive shopping spree and we still have 32 million GP left. And we bought some food and restores because now we are going to be doing the Whisperer. And uh, it's a lot of money in this, but it's going to be hard to beat the RTO with a Void Waker hilt. The final thing I had to get before I can get into the Whisperer is a bunch of runes and a rune pouch as well. So we spent a lot of money on that. And the reason why we now have the Ring of Shadows is because if I charge this with 100 charges, this lets me teleport pretty much right to the Whisperer. And for the rest of the runes, it's a thousand casts of Ice Barrage as you need to freeze the boss occasionally during the fight. No way, I had no idea. You can't have your Ring of Shadows equipped while in the Lazara Undercity where the Whisper is located, so I guess I have to try to get another ring. The Sears ring is 407k, and because I already have one imbued in my bank, I'm just going to use this one and drop 407k. When I did the Whisper for my own drop rate video, I was using the best possible setup, and my average kill was like two and a half minutes, but uh, I can already see this is going to be quite a lot longer. Of course, the Venator bow is absolutely insane at this specific part of the fight where you can kill these lost souls. You can actually kill all of them if you have the Venator bow, but unfortunately, I don't have that budget. It's like 46 million right now, so I will have to do with a Magic Short Bow. Definitely a lot slower, of course, than I usually experience this boss being, but let's see first loot. No! Supply drop! 5 minutes and 11 second long kill. For what, like 7k worth of loot? Can we get anything better than a supply drop on the second kill at least? Okay, 13k. It's not great, but something. I have one idea, though, for another upgrade I need to make that I actually completely forgot about. The upgrade is the Accursed Scepter, and I'm not going to be using this as my main weapon, but rather a special attack weapon. I haven't really been needing to use this in my other times at the Whisper because the Timmican Shadow is so incredibly accurate. But what this is, is a defense reduction special attack. It reduces the target's magic and defense level by 15%. So of course, with my Warped Scepter not being very accurate, this should speed up the kill honestly by quite a bit. Oh, there is actually one more upgrade I can make. I didn't even think about this, but Virtus is out now. And this is a pretty good mage item. Compared to Arim's, it is definitely an upgrade, but... Uh, the only one I can get is the mask because the other pieces, unfortunately, are a bit too expensive, but it uh, looks pretty good, doesn't it? Can we at least get something better than 13k maybe from this Whisper kill? Would be nice. Oh, 123k, definitely a lot better. And also look at the time. That's 30 seconds better than before I was using the special attack weapon, so definitely worth it. Oh my god, we had such good special attacks on the Accursed Scepter this time, should be a lot faster. 426, definitely good, and not a bad drop as well. Oh, we have an Awakener's Orb, 1.6 million. These have been going down in price quite a lot, but that's good money. Oh no, the 16 bronze long swords, 480 GP for 5 minutes of work. I've realized I won't beat the Void Waker Hilt, I think, so this is going to be the last one. Oh, we got a hard clue skull for the last one, and a pretty good adamant ore drop as well. But that's going to be the last one. I've done 12 kills, made like 2 million GP, so I'm pretty happy with that. Maybe we can get a master from the hard clue scroll or anything good. 137k, that's not that bad. We got two uniques, but I already had both of them in the collection log. I have now went ahead and sold everything that we had except for the current gear setup I'm equipped with, and we have now got 27 million cash, and also the runes left over from the freezes and the rune pouch. From starting with absolutely nothing except for a warped scepter with a thousand charges, we have now built up 63.9 million GP worth of gear. I would say that's pretty successful. But with that, I thank you all so much for watching this video. If you want to see more rebuilds like this, let me know in the comment section below. If you have any ideas for starting items, I would love to hear that. But until next time, guys, take care.